Fed met, rates got lowered. The Fed funds rate got lowered by 50 basis points. Mortgage rates went higher, and the stock market didn't like it either. What happened? Well, today, there's a bounce back. Things are happening, but we're taping this on Thursday. Let me share my screen. Full disclosure, this whole video is going to be about yesterday's meeting. I think there's some cool charts. So if, even if you're not like really psyched to see this, I think it will help you to at least understand kind of where things are going, what they did, why they did it, and where the Fed even thinks things are going. So long story short, rates still around that low six, uh, according to Mortgage News Daily. You guys can see the green one on the right is today. The red one was yesterday, how rates went lower. Here we are now today getting most of those gains back. So it's kind of a net zero. And we've had a good run. I wouldn't be surprised if rates drifted a little higher. I mean, again, lower on this chart, higher in general, just because where we are. But basically, yesterday, the Fed cut by 50 basis points. That makes the Fed target rate around the 4.75 to 5. It's kind of the range. They started that, I don't know, 5, 10 years ago. There was one governor who was the dissent, and that was the first time in 19 years. Who knew? Governor, governor, uh, governor Bowman. She's... She's kind of been on this hawkish thing where she thinks we should even raise rates. I don't understand, but it's, it's what she thinks and I don't know what she's looking at, but there you go. Um, you can read the rest. I'm not going to sit here and read you. They do think the economy is solid, according to the Fed. Um, the Fed fund rate, as we just mentioned, was cut 50 yesterday. They think on the November and December meetings, another 25 each time. So between yesterday's and then the next two, that makes a total of one 100 basis points, 1% 1 lower for this. And they also expect another 100 basis points or another 1% for all of next year. So inflation is right where they think they want it. 2.6 is kind of where they're, they're you know, think it's going to end this year. 2.2 uh, is where they see it going next year. I will tell because as you cut rates, a lot of times that makes for spending, which could then become inflation come back. So time will tell, but it's still in that low two range that they're targeting. Unemployment, as I just mentioned, they think it's okay. Currently, it's a 4.2. They think maybe it inches up just a touch by the end of the year. Those numbers that we've been showing you guys throughout this year, I mean, last year, have been phony. Um, remember, they had even just a month or two ago, like 860,000 uh, job report revisions being like they're off by a million jobs that were never created. So I don't know that I totally believe that stat. We'll see. Um, here's the what they call the dot plot. Each one of these dots represents somebody on the Fed. And then they're thinking of it in columns. So this is a five-year lookout, or longer, really. Far left, all those dots are 2024. So right now, two people think that rates for the rest of the year are going to stay exactly that they would vote even where they're at. One person thinks they need to raise it three more times, 75 basis points. Nine total people, so the majority, think it's going to be somewhere around 25 to, to 50, nine people think it's going to be another two cuts, the November and December meeting that I just showed you. This is kind of where the Fed thinks it's going to be for 2024. Then if you look to 2025, the next little column over, most think it's about 100, think 125 basis points. So that means four to maybe five cuts next year. And you can see the next year, 2026, it starts getting a little wider, longer. I should say longer, not wider. A little longer. We can kind of see where some members think that things will be good, some think they'll be terrible. Um, you can kind of see where that takes you in the future for 2027 longer. So at the end of the day, smart money says another two for this year, and then they say about four to maybe five next year. We shall see. The unemployment forecast, this is a little confusing. I mean, I first looked up, like, wait, this one on? The, the two blue um, rectangles, squares, whatever you want to call them. The right is unemployment. 10 Fed members think unemployment is going to end up around 4.4 to 4.5 for the end of this year. Nine of them think it's about 4.2. So in total, they all think it's going to be somewhere between 4.2 and 4.5. Or if I have a personal opinion, we shall see. I just feel like there's more folks that are hurting financially and more businesses that uh, maybe laying folks off. So we'll see, but that's where they think it's going to be. Uh, lastly, Jerome Powell, if it, yeah, he doesn't see the recession. Think spending growth has remained resilient. I'm going to argue that credit cards are at an all-time high. When that happens, eventually money runs out of the bank account and people can't pay bills. They don't go shopping. That's the recession. The recession leads to companies not making money. Companies not making money. We the layoffs. It's not great. We shall see. When all those things happen, that's when mortgage rates start coming down. Uh, but the last one, 
right? That middle section matter kind of just reiterates the first two slides. And they do think market rents will decrease, but slowly, again, as we talked about before, housing and voter vehicle insurance are two reasons why inflation is still at. Um, lastly, the theme of the week. Um, count, hello? Is it a mortgage we're looking for? It's great. Actually, it's not that great, but it's fun. Uh, so there you go. You guys know the way that rates are coming down. Refinances now are happening because, yes, we still think rates will come down in the future, but again, not super, super fast. So a lot of times it makes financial sense to refi today. Once we do that, we'll put them on our re rebound program where the next time lender fees can be waived and it's, you know, it makes a lot of sense to save money now. Don't wait six months or 12 months. Start saving today. And then six, 12, 18 months from now, if you win, again, rates are lower. So if there's somebody out there that just wants a number to run for them, you're happy to do it. I hope you appreciate it. Here's how you get a hold of us. Send it to your friends, send it to your family member. Send it to anybody you know that might just be their normal portion. Look at how the rates are lower. You're certainly here to help. I hope you appreciate you. Hope you have a great one for the rest of your day, the rest of your week, and a great one for the